So I've just arrived back in Prague and it was raining for a little bit, but not to worry because I'm with my little bundle of sunshine, Miss Eden Ivy. Hello. Hi. Where did the uh, name come from, Eden? My name, I had Ivy as a stripper since I was like 19 and then when I started doing porn, I looked at word banks and found Eden. Nice. And can we talk about how we met? Yeah, we met in uh, Malaga. Malaga, Malaga, yeah. Malaga, yeah. yeah, in Spain to work yeah, together. Exactly. Yeah. We were yeah. shooting. We only together. saw each other for like a day, I think, because I was leaving the day after you got there, unfortunately. But then we got to meet up afterwards. Yeah, yeah that was quite a long time ago. Like, how are you doing these days? Pretty good. Enjoying life, enjoying work. Nice. Not much to complain about. Awesome. Good to hear. Right, let's do this. What's something unreal that happened this month? Um, something unreal that happened this month. I feel like this month has been pretty normal. Um, just, I got to talk to my dad for the first time in a year. I guess that's it. Okay. And how do you like to start your day? Um, uh, just going on my phone right away. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee or tea? Tea, tea definitely. <laughs> and the best thing to go with that? A sunny day. <laughs> Pardon? A sunny day. Oh, cute. And are you a morning person or a night owl? Not a morning person at all, so a night owl, I would say. And are you usually on time or late? Fashionably late. <laughs> I'm like always five, uh, like ten minutes late or Speak, fifteen. Speaking of fashionable, let's see what you're wearing today. Oh, give us a twerk. Boots. Gorgeous, yeah. Your walking boots, always. Stunning, stunning. Ten, ten. <laughs> um, from what age did you realise you were creative? Um, I think I always was, and then uh, I just practiced it, but ever since elementary school I just was, wanted to do art, but I wasn't good at it until I practiced it and became good at it. And what's your favorite artistic outlet? Before it used to be painting, I like to paint a lot, but now it's just singing when I'm alone. Oh, cute! Singing! What do you like to sing? What do you like to sing? Oh, what do I like to sing? Um, I choose songs that I listen to on how well I can sing them. Can so you give us a little song? What? Can you give us a little song? You want me to sing a song? Yeah! No, but I'll tell you <laughs> one of my favorite ones to sing and it's You Know That I'm No Good from Amy Winehouse. Amy, Amy oh Winehouse, yeah, actually. Amy Winehouse yeah, is really fun to say. She's an amazing singer. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Fucking hell, I wanted to be an tree. astronaut. You wanted to be an astronaut? Yeah. That worked out well. Yeah. And <laughs> um, what was your favorite subject at school? Um, Either art class or science, depending on what we were learning in science classes. What were your hobbies growing up? Um, I had a few, I was really into sports, so I did like uh, figure skating, I did swimming, running, badminton, gymnastics. Wow, sporty. Yeah. And what's your most nostalgic memory from growing up in Montreal? Um, probably just the summer, it's like mural festival, it's always such an awesome time in Montreal. They closed down Saint Laurent and then there's just a bunch of stuff happening. Everyone's just out enjoying the sun, being happy. I loved mural all my life. Nice. Right, let's walk a little bit over here because I think it is going to be really loud for a second because we're going to try and cross this road, I think. Yeah, there'll be less, less noise once we're... I think once we're in the park, there'll be less noise. Yeah. Right, let's go this over here. Oh, and then he tripped over something as well. What was I going to ask you? Um, what languages do you speak? I speak French, English, and a little bit of Spanish. I can understand much better than I can speak. Oh, really? Spanish? Oh. <laughs> and what's a French word that native English speakers can never pronounce correctly? Croissant. Croissant. I can say croissant. You're not saying it, right? Croissant, croissant. Croissant. <laughs> croissant. Croissant. Okay. Anything uh, with an R, actually. <laughs> right. I'm not sure if I should, like, pause it here. I think... Hmm, let's see. Favourite meal as a kid? Chicken wings. Chicken wings? Yeah. Favourite fruit? Mango, always. Mango, nice. Yeah. Um, right, we're going to cross. Ah! <laughs> we're going to go into this part. Where am I going? Am I following you? Yeah, following you. Cool. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm walking into things. Favorite snack? Favorite snack, I think, seaweed or seaweed. 
seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> like seaweed chips. Okay, okay. Interesting. I uh, wouldn't have thought that. Favourite traditional French dish? Poutine. But that's like a Quebec traditional Say meal. again. Poutine. Poutine. Oh, you're so yes. sexy. Poutine. Fries, <laughs> gravy and curd cheese. Mmm, interesting. Right, what would you prefer, burger or pizza? Um, I'm not a fan of either, but if I had to choose, I think I'd go with burger. And what's your favorite type of food to cook? To cook uh, Asian food. I love Asian flavors. I always cook Asian stuff. Nice. Sweet or savory? Savory, all the way. But you're so sweet. That's because you're sweet enough, exactly. eh? Exactly. I don't need more. <laughs> It's so busy today. Yeah, it's Sunday in Prague, so... True, true. What's your idea of a perfect date? Something really simple. I don't like over-the-top things. I'd say just walk, a nice walk, and a nice meal with someone that I really enjoy. What's the first thing that you notice about someone when you meet them? Their personality. Their what... personality breaks or makes them. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Being told that I'm funny. Being told that you're funny? Yes, that's the best yeah. compliment anyone can It's a lie. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, you're hilarious. Uh, do you have any se uh, secret talents? Yeah, I can clap with one hand. You can what? I can clap with one hand. Go then, show me. Okay, I have to warn you though, it's like really sexy. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right, that is so sexy. Thank you. <laughs> can you roll your tongue? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah you can. <laughs> I can't see that. Um, what's the cause that's really important to you? Animal rights. I'm vegan, so... You're vegan? How long have you been animal... vegan? Um, since I was 15, so like 8 years, almost, I think like 7 and a half. Nice. What makes you smile the most? The mirror. <laughs> I'm <not sure>. no. <laughs> um, just seeing like sweet videos of like people being kind to people and to animals like that makes me smile yeah vintage or new i want to say vintage but to be honest recently it's been more new than anything because there's not a lot of thrift stores yeah in prague but when i'm in canada definitely 50 50 <laughs> yeah and heels or sneakers i already heels, know this answer always. I don't even own sneakers, so... Always in these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the TV show that you grew up watching? How I Met Your Mother. Oh, Hannah Montana as well. I just realised you're so much taller than me. I was just filming, like, your tits for a while. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> what movie makes you cry the most? Any movie where an animal dies, like a pet. And if you're a character from Disney, who would you be? The evil stepmom. No, the evil stepmom? <laughs> you called me the evil stepmom. <gasps> but probably Ariel. Ariel. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Um, what's the most adventurous thing that you've done in your life? I think just coming out to live in Europe. It was so unplanned and unexpected, it just kind of happened. Like, I've never done something that crazy. Ooh! Window or aisle seat to get here? Window. Always. Always, Always the window. I will fight for the window. <laughs> this is so pretty, I'm just gonna get a little... Whee! Oh, hi! What's something you can't travel without? Makeup. Makeup? Yeah. You love your makeup. Yeah. <laughs> How would you define yourself in three words? I would say honest, kind, and talented. City, city break, ski, or beach holiday? City. And if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you go? Probably Iceland. Oh, nice. Like, well, it doesn't really match up with my last answer, but I've just heard so much about it. Like the Northern Lights, right? Yeah. Would you rather climb Mount Everest or explore the Amazon rainforest? Probably the Amazon rainforest because I'm not, I'm not that into climbing. <laughs> um, would you rather visit the Egyptian pyramids or swim in the Great Barrier Reef? Egyptian pyramids. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? 
Um, don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to say no. Yeah. We go over here. There's so much noise today. There's so much noise. Yeah. Have I already asked you, how, would you define yourself in three words? Yeah, you just asked I me. I did that. ask you that. Well, that, I'm sure your answer was fantastic. What, okay, leather, latex, or lace? Um, I think I'd go with latex. And I don't your, have a lot of it, but I want to. What's your favorite kink? Whilst we're walking past this old lady. <laughs> I like, uh, I like thinking armpits. Licking armpits? Yeah. You sexy girl. Yeah. <laughs> and what's a kink that you didn't used to like, but you like now, you're really into? Well, I never thought that I would like getting my toes sucked until I actually got my toes sucked and I really enjoyed it. Nice. Flowers or chocolates? Flowers. Do you like surprises? No. Okay. Don't surprise me, I hate it. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember your birthday. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bad idea. Yeah. We were trying to surprise Eden. Tried, though. We tried, but yeah. um, we got stopped. We got found out. Yeah. What's your favourite piece of underwear that you own? It's hard to say because I'm going through lingerie and underwear so often, so much. But I just got this Honey Burdette set. It's like a corset, light blue top with matching underwear. It's really cute and I'm waiting for the right moment to use it so I'm, mm. I'm never gonna use it but it's wonderful I know I think I know which one you mean yeah. really cute yeah. yeah um what's if you're an animal what would you be mm. realistically I'd be like a bunny ah yeah. and what's your favorite color I have four is that okay <laughs> that's fine pink purple green and blue okay um what's something that annoys you loud chewers Sorry? Loud chewers. Oh. <laughs> that, like, I just can't, like the noise yeah. disturbs me. Do you sleep with a cuddly toy? Um, a big pillow. I cuddle with a big pillow. What's your favorite tattoo? This one right here. Oh, she cute. Yeah. Nice. And have you got any that you would regret? That's yes, the shitty stick and pokes that I gave myself when I was like 15. So like all of these, they're going to come off with laser eventually. They're really <laughs> well done. So. I keep though. I like the little smiley face. Um, if you're not working in the adult industry, what would you be doing? Something that I was really thinking of getting myself into was uh, working with dis disabled children. Oh, and I, swear I could see you doing genuine, that. And I genuine like answer. Because I, I had this um, activity in elementary school where we had disabled kids come to our school so they could have recess because they didn't normally have it because it was too complicated. And I really, really, really enjoyed that. And so I wanted to do that, but then I did what I'm doing. <laughs> I could see you doing that because you're very caring. Um, what's your music gu guilty pleasure? Shitty pop music. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Um, I like to sing it. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, and what's your favorite book? Memoirs of the Geisha. What's the one thing you wish you knew at 18? Um, I wish I knew how to be confident at 18. I was so self-conscious and it's still something that I kind of deal with, but I wish I, I knew that I could just Say fuck it and like be myself. Fuck it. Yeah. If you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Miley Cyrus. Oh God, yes. Yeah. And then we'd have sex even more. Because <laughs> she. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> um, what's your favorite holiday? Um, I don't have like one in particular. That I, like. I guess Halloween if I'm in the mood to dress up. What's your favorite exercise? Walking. Walking! Sex you love exercise. <laughs> and sex exercise. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a joke? Yeah, it's really dark though. I have like one dark and one that's like so shitty, it's funny. So well, this is one. going on YouTube, so. Okay, so I'll tell you the shitty one. Okay. So it's a knock knock joke, you have to start me off. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Wait. I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that is actually quite good. Uh, <laughs> I was like, we should have, you should have seen my face. I was like, genuinely so confused. Yeah. Who do you turn to when you're sad? Myself, unfortunately. Yourself? Yeah. I, I, I just like to keep it to myself, like in the moment. Maybe like once I've processed it, I, I'll talk to people that are close to me, but myself, I would say. Um, What's one thing you had to learn the hard way? 
um, how to be a responsible human being. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's something you don't want to be doing in 10 years? Um, I don't want to be afraid of the future in 10 years. Um, what's one thing you do want to be doing in 10 years? What I do now. Yeah! Well, I hope you're still doing it. And I love you so much. And I'll see you in a minute because we're going to go home together. Bye! <laughs>